What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. I'm not doing makeup. I already got my glam on. I'm actually referring to my first week of keto. Now, this is something that I barely explored. A lot of you guys were blowing up my Instagram of Oof, a ton of questions and some that I can't answer because I don't know the answer to. I think I gathered enough information to talk to you guys about my like basically my first week on keto. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So if you guys are here for the tea and want to know how that went, be sure to stay tuned. Suavemente. Suavemente. I'm gonna first explain to you guys how I got into like the whole mindset of keto. So basically you guys saw the last video that I made, you know, all my little uh, detox tea, my shakes, my fajas, everything. I'm still doing everything, don't get me wrong. I'm doing my fajas, I'm doing the light job. I'm still, I'm on my, I'm almost done with my detox. I have one more day to go and I'll complete that. But the only thing that I did change is the way I eat. And the reason I started doing that was because actually my sister-in-law was the one who told me, my husband's um, sister, she was the one who was like, have you ever tried keto? And I was like, actually I have not she goes yeah so and so like I had a couple friends that tried it you know they lost a lot of weight so I was like you know what up to this point like I love to try different diets and try to find something that works for me because girl I love to eat and I need to find a right balanced diet that is gonna work for me and something that I'm actually gonna see like a big improvement on so she told me you know what a lot of people get dramatic results especially from the first week and then on so it just depends on you and how how much you want to lose so then I was like you know what let's give it a go so that same day that she was here like I started it was on a Sunday I believe it was June 21st oh it was Father's Day because it was after Evan's birthday so it was on Father's Day when I began my keto journey and I was like I'm just gonna start it I did my research guys if you ever want to do keto please do your research there is just so much information out there that you need to know before you start i kind of just started with the basic knowledge like keto is a diet of low carbs no sugar um i basically drink water all day every day like you have to know what to eat and not only that but i i mixed it up with intermittent fasting which like i felt like that's why it gave me such a big head start on my weight loss journey and one, one thing that i so regret the most is that i did not take any pictures of my before like i know i should have but i didn't go like level-headed into this being like you know what this is gonna work for me like i already know i'm gonna look bomb like i i didn't know i was just like i'm gonna give it a try why not let's do this so then i went i did my research i looked up foods to eat what to not eat that's one thing that you need to know what not to eat because if you eat the incorrect foods that have a lot of sugars you're gonna restart your whole keto experience basically and you're gonna mess it all up and you don't want to do that so i am not an expert on this i do not know everything i i would not want to make a video telling you what to do what not to do on keto because i don't i'm not that knowledge on it i'm not that experienced on it on it to tell you guys and guide you guys like what to do pero do your research there's so many videos out there on youtube that you can find with all the information so step number one do your research so i went off of that i did all my research i put together some meals and i was like you know what okay so i'm gonna fast i'm gonna start eating at 12 and my last meal of the day will be at 8 p.m so i do eat three times a day i eat at 12 at 4 and at 7 7 30 around there and by 8 p.m i'm done i don't eat anything else my meals basically are inventions of mine <laughs> like I do look at a lot of videos on YouTube on how people cook but when I cook even when it's like regular cooking for my kids or my husband like I like to cook a mi manera so I look up basically to see what are the basic stuff that I need for let's say ingredients to make pancakes blah 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 so you need flour milk eggs let's just say so then I add my own little twist to it. I'm just like, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon if I want. I'm going to add this, I'm going to add that. So that's what I do and that's how I get my recipes. And let me tell you guys that 
All the things that I've been eating have been amazing. So a couple of things that I do eat are, let's say, almond flour pancakes. Like I learned to make those and I actually really, really like them. I top them with a little bit of strawberries on top and then sugar-free syrup. And girl, let me just tell you, they are so delicious. Like I never thought I would like almond flour pancakes, but here I am. And then let's say for lunch, I will do something like a salad or um, I like to keep it light because I like to eat heavy during dinner, like my main protein. So during lunchtime, I will make like a, oh, one of my favorite things that I've made is a shrimp salad. So I grill some shrimp. I put some avocado on the side. I put some bacon bits, um, some cheese, some lettuce, a little bit of tomato. I mix it all up and add a little bit of dressing. Girl. Man, that thing tastes amazing. Oh, and to make my little dressing that I add on top, it's not just ranch. I mix ranch and sugar-free barbecue sauce, and so it makes its own little sauce, and I add it on top. It is delicious. It's so good that my hubby even asked me to make him a bowl. Like, for real. It's so, so freaking good. And then for dinner, I like to eat like protein like steak let's say tri-tip and then i'll have a side of like a different kind of salad or it's weird but like sometimes during dinner time like se mantoja mucho breakfast <laughs> i don't know why i am that girl that will go to denny's in the middle of the night like midnight 1 a.m and i will order breakfast like i'm just that girl but i just i guess it depends on my mood i like to eat steak probably with a side of broccoli um some chicken oh girl i have a lot of a lot of ideas for chicken like i can make chicken like 10 different ways on the top of my head like i love making my own little recipes i have a full freaking gabinete of spices like i'm telling you i have so many spices that ni se te va a acabar el sabor so that's what my daily routine looks like i drink nothing but water i have some right here like iced water mm. I already loved water to start with, so it wasn't even hard to get rid of everything else. The only thing that was so freaking hard to do was to get rid of my Pepsi. My Pepsi is my ride or die homegirl since high school. Girl, I swear, you would always catch me with my Pepsi and my bag of hot fries. Like, till this day, well, not till this day, but like, let's say like three weeks ago, I always had to have my bag of chips, my hot fries, my Pepsi, and my Snickers, like that was the combo. Pero, I learned to give that up. I mean, I have been craving them every single time I see them in the store. I'm like, damn, you look so good, girl. Another food that I learned to give up was French fries. I love French fries. Uh, McDonald's French fries are so bomb. And every time I smell them when my kids have them, I'm like, why? I know why. They're full of carbs, girl, and we're not supposed to eat a lot of carbs. We're supposed to keep it low. Now, girl, we are going to get into this next topic about keto that I have to warn you because I went through it my first week of keto, girl. Whew. It was like, I don't know, they call it the keto flu, but man, like my energy just like it drained, I guess, because your body's trying to, you know, adjust to it. Um, your body's not running off of sugar anymore. It's running just off of your fat. So you're supposed to eat a lot of fat to burn your fat. You get me? That's why you lose weight fast because you're not burning sugar and storing fat. But anyway, the first week, like I had no energy. I wanted to sleep all the time. Literally massive headaches. I had headaches on every single freaking day. I was like, ¿Cuándo se me va a ir? But, you know, I kept looking up and researching things that are like, you know, it's just a keto flu. That's what it starts off in the beginning. It can be one week, two weeks or even a freaking month. But after that, I guess you're supposed to get like a huge boost of energy. Your brain fog is supposed to disappear because you get brain fog during keto flu. And I couldn't think straight. I was so confused on a lot of things. Like I would forget things. I'd be like in the middle of doing something. I'm like, wait, what was I gonna do? Like those kind of things. So um, slowly, I've noticed that they're, they've been diminishing. Like I've been getting back to my level. I've been waking up earlier every single day. I feel good. I feel pumped. I'm ready to do stuff. Like I freaking clean the backyard. I get so much done. So yes, in the beginning, you will experience some things that you don't want to, but it is called the keto flu for a damn reason. But yes, after you overcome that, you do feel like 10 times better oh another thing is that you get extremely dehydrated even right now i'm dehydrated like every single day i'm dehydrated i don't know why 
I don't, I, I still don't know why. I need to look it up. But I feel like I need to sip on water every five to ten minutes, which is good. Don't get me wrong. That's actually really good because it makes you drink water, especially if you're not a water drinker and you're always thirsty. You're going to go to water all the time because... That's what you crave because that's the only thing that's actually going to take away your thirst. So just constantly being dehydrated will motivate you to drink more water. I literally drink a full cup of this of water. I want to say um, I, I started with like five glasses a day and now I'm up to six or seven. So I drink pounds of water, girl. Now let's get to the good part. Let's get on how much have I lost and does it really work? So I was determined to do it. Um, they... I was looking up on the research and stuff and in the beginning they said that you're gonna lose the most amount of weight in one week um, versus the other weeks because you're gonna get rid of all the water weight from the carbs so um they said that you're supposed to lose between I think it was like four four to some people even lose 10 pounds in the first week and I was just like oh dang like girl if I lose 10 pounds like oh I'm gonna look good so I was just like you know what I am gonna Take a little sneak peek in the middle of the week. I think it was like Wednesday. Just to see if I'm on the right track. Because I don't want to be doing this whole week of, you know, preventing myself from eating sugar. And it doesn't even work, you know? So then it comes around Wednesday. And I was just like, let me do it. I like to weigh myself first thing in the morning before I do anything. Before I drink water. Before I drink my coffee. Before I do anything. So I went to the bathroom. And I weighed myself. And I realized that I already had lost three pounds and I'm like wait 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 hold up three pounds it's only been Monday Tuesday Wednesday well actually I started on Sunday so Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday four days and three pounds I was like oh my god no manches like how is that even possible like there's no way but guess what there is a way I did it like three pounds gone on the scale and I was like oh girl like that boosted me up to even try even more so I like learned more things about keto and i put ganas into it like i put my all into it every single day i wake up okay what i'm gonna cook what am i gonna make what am i gonna eat how am i gonna exercise by the way exercising is gonna be completely different on keto i realized that because i like to exercise and i just could not exercise the right way i would feel so tired after trying to lift weights or anything like Ooh, I was gassed out. So one thing that I've been doing is since we put our build-up pool, I've been swimming every single day doing little, little laps. Like it doesn't have to be anything intense, but that has been my current exercise besides the fact that I clean, cook, you know, do all the chores in the house. Yeah, so you break a sweat doing that, girl. Anyway, so yeah, that has been my routine and I've been keeping it up every single day and, you know, wake up in the morning um, me fajo. I put on my lipo gel, me fajo. I clean, cook, you know, do my influencer thing that I got to do and um, go throughout my day. And then, you know, I eat at 12, 4, 8, drink water. That's it. So then I basically promised myself because I am so like, I have anxiety. So I, I have to check on myself all the time. Like I want to bust the scale out all the time to make sure like I'm on the right track. But no, I'm like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to panic myself out. I am going to take it day by day and I'm going to weigh myself from the day I started, like on Sunday. I started on Sunday, so every Sunday morning, I'm gonna weigh myself to see if I'm on track. So then, you know, how I weighed myself on Wednesday, I kept going all the way till Sunday. So Sunday morning comes, and I'm just like, this is it, this is it. Did I gain some weight? Did I lose some more? Did I maintain it? What was the complete weight loss on my first week of keto? And you guys, I was, I was shook when I saw that I lost seven freaking pounds seven pounds on one week of keto that motivated me like woo, girl that number motivated me so much to keep going every single day like i hold on to that number and i'm just like oh my god i can't believe i did it i did it and it wasn't even with too much exercise literally just normal things that i do besides swimming a little bit 
but nothing too intense. It was all mainly kitchen. So yesterday was Sunday and it completed my second week of keto. And that second week, I lost a total of two pounds, which they say that's normal to lose one or two pounds a week. That's like the healthiest weight you can lose a week. And just for the fact that I know I didn't do hardcore exercises and I didn't restrain myself, I did not starve. I don't starve. And the fact that I know I didn't starve and I ate really well and I was able to lose two pounds that week, I was just like, damn, like this thing actually freaking works, man. I lost a total of nine pounds. It's crazy because if you think about it, nine pounds, that is so much time at the gym. I used to struggle so much to lose nine pounds, just working out every single day, busting my ass off when I wasn't even paying attention to what I was eating. Like that is the main thing. If you want to actually lose weight, you have to pay attention to what you eat. And it's not only like healthy stuff. Like they can like they say they label fruits and all that stuff healthy, but in fact, they all have natural sugars which, you know, you retain and, you know, the whole thing that I told you that your body is working off of sugar, that's why it stores fat. So, it's crazy because even the healthy things that are labeled healthy are not healthy. Like I learned just so much about food during this whole keto experience right now. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going until I can, until like I, I freaking want one little piece of chip or something. <laughs> because once you eat something that has a lot of carbs or sugars, like you ruin it. Like you have to start all over. I think that's what keeps me motivated and grounded to this diet. The fact that if I mess up once, like that's it. Like, I have to start my whole journey all over again. I don't want to get the keto flu again, girl. Like, I've been through that one time. That's it. I don't want to go through it again. So, I'm going to keep pushing forward. I don't know how much weight I'm going to actually lose. Because my goal is to, like, lose as much weight for August. Because that is when I have my consultation for my mommy makeover and stuff. So, yay! I'm excited about that. That's, that's what's motivating me right now to keep going. So total of pounds lost up to right now nine pounds i'm excited um if you guys have ever thought of doing the keto diet i highly suggest you do it it has me looking good it keeps me full i'm happy like what else do you want i cannot even believe that i've never even intended this to be honest i've heard the word keto been thrown around but i actually never paid attention to it like oh what is it what is it about like how does it work blah 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 because to be honest i thought keto was like a you know those weight watchers programs and all that stuff that get you all wrapped up and you have to buy this and buy that and you have to you know i don't know it's just so much stuff i hate being on strict diets like that because they're so confusing and i don't understand them and that is what is so awesome about this diet is that it's so understandable it's so easy like people literally teach you on youtube for free you don't have to pay anything and they teach you how to read labels how many carbs you need for this how, how many um proteins or fatty whatever you need to know that you need to eat it's out there it's out there for free everybody can learn I didn't know nothing about this keto diet and now I know so much. But yeah, guys, I hope I answered a lot of questions for you guys because there were so many different questions and so many repetitive questions that I got like via DM on Instagram. And I was just like, how do I put this? Like, I need a... I'm just gonna say my whole experience and hopefully I answered most of you guys' this question. Um, if you do have any other questions, you can definitely leave them down in the comment section below or you can DM me on Instagram, girl. I will get back to you. I do not mind, you know, helping you guys out. Um, this keto experience has been amazing thus far. So, I mean, do I recommend it? Do I think it's worth it? Yes, it is. To me, it is worth it. And that is it, amigas. That is all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed watching my keto experience week one, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!